Mr. Grimes here. This is Mr. Doherty's farm. Mr. Doherty's farm. Yeah, Mr. Doherty's farm. He had a little small house on the hill up there that he rented out to his farmers and things. He was right there about where those trees are falling. And on around the curve here, Mr. Doherty lived in this house. Oh, Miss Grimes lived Ms. in that Grimes house. Lived right across the street here, there in that house. Okay, so Mr. Doughty's house Ms. right there. Is that house uh -huh. there? Uh -huh. So, see, I was told that house right there was Miss Grimes' house. No, uh -huh. she had a big brick house. And like I say, her husband was a hard worker. You going around here too? Well, I need to turn around. Okay. Yeah, right to go back to yeah. Orwell's. Yeah. And now we're back at the. Yeah, there's the birth house right uh -huh. there. Now, uh, uh, Buster and Cl Cletus lived right there when, when he's house here. So, Buster and Cletus lived yeah, on and, this and side. Yeah, Patchy, Patchy would have to live here, too, with them. But you don't know which house. Well, it's moved, probably. They okay. Moved them houses, but that's where they lived, that area right there. Buster and Cletus and, and Patchy. Yeah, see, I was told that that was her house right here. No. Miss Grimes. No, that's not. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, I never put that video out because, you know, you have these feelings. Yeah. About stuff. Uh, so that was her house that right was there. Her house. Drove right into the there. That's it. And, so and you threw the paper here. Yeah, I carried the paper here and Shady Acres here. And I knew most all the people. I knew all the people here. And this road, I think, it might have been gravel, I'm sure, but I ain't going to take that for sure. But, and we put the paper here and all the way up to the city limits, which went a little further up. But Mr. His word, Mr. Dark, Mr. Bean. So this is Orville Bean's driveway. This driveway right here. He went back out in his big old brick house sitting right in yonder and he had the barn right behind it. And uh, he, he raised cat, uh, cows up here and he sold milk and chickens. And he, I mean, he raised chickens and sold eggs. So it's Right safe, in there. It's safe to uh -huh. say. It would be further back. About to, uh, that tree line just past a couple of big trees. Okay. It was well, I'm going to have to go up in there at some point. Uh, I see it looks like a roof back there. Yeah, it may be no shit too back there. Barn, yeah. I'll be his place. But so we know, so he owned all this land on this side. That yeah, was the Mr. farm. Bean, yeah, yeah. They, that, were, they were both wealthy people, you know. That yeah. right there was his driveway. Yeah, yeah right that, there. That was his driveway. Uh, hey, this, this, this is unbelievable. Oh, that's unbelievable. Larry, you don't know what this stuff means, man. Well, Having somebody that really knows about this and can tell you exactly where things were. Well, the thing about it is we went there and... and, and Daddy got beans, from, I mean, eggs from him. I'd go to his house, get the eggs, or walk up there, and they had a blackberry patch, blackberries. We'd go up there uh, with the bears to ride and pick bears out of his pasture there. He'd just pick them. And Mother would make uh, uh, jams, blackberry jam, and all that good stuff out of it. And I'm told she can make some good jams. Oh, I bet she could. I'd love to have some right blackberry now. Blackberry pies yeah, and all that. You know, and you know Elvis would have done the same thing, probably. Yeah. They were, they were, everybody was close to that. It's like Vernon worked for him, right? Yeah, Vernon worked for him. Sure did. Amazing. And see, I'm glad I didn't tell that story because I'd have been wrong. I'd have had it on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. Something in me sometimes when I, I filmed all that, that I just showed you. Yeah. That that was her house and that his, but it wasn't right. No. And I just, it, I just never used it because I, I wasn't sure. Well, Mr. J.C. Grimes, he was a real quiet, nice guy, and they both came to church with us. Left the church right down the corner, where we turned around, and uh, I knew them all my life. Went to school with them, and, I, and their mothers and daddies, and, and I, they got some kids somewhere, but not Mr. Grimes and his wife. But she had a, a, a some good friends that didn't have some hills. The red back, they were real close friends, friends that were camp family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All up here used to be Mother Johnson's farms up here. And we used to come up here and he'd cut wood or whatever. And they he plant cotton. He'd have cotton in these places up here. All these guys went here. And the Williams boys we went to school with was kind of fur, but they worked for him and pick them up. Pick cotton with six, seven year old. They all dipped snuff. Of course mm -hmm. we had to borrow dip from them, you know. Of course we got booked we got caught, but <laughs> uh, this was all their land up in here. He had all this on this side of the road. Their house is somewhere there. Corridor Nager. So to give you some perspective, the birthplace is right down there. You see this little park right here. The aquatic center is right there. The uh, I think it says aquatic center. The place with the bleachers from the uh, fair park is across the street on the other side of the big road over there. And you can see some silos right here. 
like I say, the birth house is down here. So this is where Larry Presley says that he would deliver the paper to Orville Bean. He said he also came here and purchased eggs and milk and different things like that from Orville's farm. That he literally, physically himself came here and bought those things. So this is the spot. Winter's not quite over yet, so hopefully we won't have to deal with ticks and snakes and all that kind of stuff. But he said Orville's house set way back up in here. So we're going to see if we can find the foundation where the house would have been or any of it. But this is the farm where Vernon worked for Orville. He worked here when Elvis was born. And as I've mentioned, Orville owned the land. It's a little gooey here, Trey. So watch that little spot. But Orville owned the land that the birth house is built on. It's real gooey. It's been raining. I wonder what all these old pallets are. Yeah, I, was wondering. I think just people dumping stuff out here. There's a uh, old birdhouse. You see this? Oh yeah. An old birdhouse from Orville Bean's farm. If you don't think I'm taking that with me, you're crazy. And that's on a fence post. Let's continue further. Here's stuff coming up now. Here's things from the farm. Boy, it is gooey, this ground is. Look at this old tub from Orville Bean's farm. Look at this. That is cool. This was a dairy farm. Well, it's really grown up. I don't see any evidence of foundation or structure, but we do see, of course, this in the birdhouse. So we're going to, I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to search around a little bit, see if we can come up with anything. Stay tuned. This looks like a the old piece of a heater or something, and it's in the ground enough I can't move it. So the only two things that I can see that remain are three things. There's that metal thing is over there. The horse trough is, or the, the cow trough is back here with the spigot in it. And then... This one post that's left right here, it looks like a fence post with this birdhouse on the top of it. And it's got a string around it holding it. As I'm over here at the birthplace, that's Trey. He was over there actually filming something. He's getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready to go home. And this just happened. I just want to show you. Yep, TCB all the way. I tightened up and put one on my truck bought it right in there. So there's the ballpark right over there. This road was not here. They built that road up. You see how low this road is. That was the level of this. And of course those buildings and stuff were not there. The swimming hole that they would go to, to the Elvis talk that they talked about actually in the Kurt Russell film and it's in books is over there. So Larry Presley said 
that his uh, granddaddy on his mother's side lived in this house and he would sit on the front porch right here and he could see over and see the boys down at the fishing hole. And it's a little ways down there, but if this was not here, it was probably a straight shot out there. They said that that was a pasture, uh, like a cow pasture out there. So it would have just been a straight shot that he'd have been able to see the boys swimming down in there. But that was where the house was. And the grocery store that uh, his dad ran, Noah, was right over there. So we're gonna go over there and take a look. Stay tuned. And also from this house, they lived up where that black car is on the, just past it on the left was where Noah Presley lived. And he lived. So I want to give you some perspective. That was where Larry Presley's grandfather on his mother's side lived in that yellow house. The fishing hole was over there. Downtown Tupelo is that way. The birth house, if you go down to where that white truck is coming out down there, right now where it's at turn left, the birth house is right over there. The elementary school Elvis went to is back here. Right here on this corner, this is North uh, South Veterans Boulevard, and I don't remember the name of this street, but you see they've dead ended it. He said this was where his father Noah Presley's uh, grocery store was. It was here, the one, the pictures I'm gonna show you right now were here on this spot. So if you come to this intersection, just know it was right here. It was also at one time down there where that shopper's value sign is. It was down on the other side of that sign at one time. And they actually live, if you walk to the left of that sign and walk past the grocery store, out to the street, Kelly, and straight ahead is where Noah lived, and Elvis and Gladys and Vernon at one time lived across the street for a short period of time. They moved a lot. So just a little more pieces of the Elvis puzzle, friends. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.